their eye on the storm the whole time? Where is wild weather raging on in the universe? What galactic romance is forming a new world and something for all those Trekkies out there on the Daily Orbit? Hello and welcome to the Daily Orbit. I'm Emerald Robinson. The tornado that hit Moore, Oklahoma on Monday left incomprehensible devastation in its wake. But it also left behind imagery and data from a NASA NOAA-operated satellite system that is helping researchers determine how the storm system was generated. NASA's Aqua Satellite and NOAA's GOES-13 provided imagery before, during, and after the storm that had 166 to 200 mile per hour winds. GOES-13 provided new images every 15 minutes tracking the storm's movement and showing its beginning as seen near the bottom of a line of clouds resembling an exclamation point. The tornado, which touched down just outside Oklahoma City, claimed 24 lives, and we hope that one day technology can provide for earlier warnings. Our hearts go out to the people in Oklahoma. And wild weather is on the radar for elsewhere in the universe. A transition from spring to summer in Titan's northern hemisphere could bring waves and hurricanes for Saturn's largest moon. Titan has been dark since the arrival of the Cassini spacecraft in 2004. But the sun is creeping in with the promise of summer. It takes seven Earth years for seasons to change on Titan. Models show that as summer approaches, winds may increase up to two miles per hour, generating waves up to a half a foot. Also, warming in the northern hemisphere could bring hurricanes from methane vapor from Titan's vast seas. One Titan forecaster said, if you think being a weather forecaster on Earth is difficult, it can be even more challenging on Titan. So no excuses now, Earthling weathermen. Love a good boy meets girl story. Me too. I'm a sucker for that kind of stuff. But I'm an even bigger sucker for galaxy meets galaxy. Telescopes have spotted two galaxies far, far away, merging intertwined and furiously making new stars. Aww, little star babies. And eventually the two galactic lovebirds will settle down to form an elliptical galaxy. Although mergers are common, this particular one is unusual because of the massive amount of gas in star formation. This formation goes against the current model, suggesting that the biggest galaxies arise from minor acquisitions of smaller galaxies. And that's the way our galaxy may have become an elliptical galaxy bunch. <laughs> and this week we celebrate the 81st anniversary of Amelia Earhart's transatlantic flight. On May 20th, 1932, Amelia Earhart became the first woman to fly solo across the Atlantic, flying from Newfoundland to Ireland. Five years later, Earhart would attempt her round-the-world flight, never to be seen again. And carbon emissions are on the run. New research says that a typical pair of running shoes is responsible for 30 pounds of carbon dioxide emissions. What doesn't create carbon emissions? But it's not the running, but in the making of the shoes. Two-thirds of attributed emissions come from powering manufacturing plants of shoes largely located in China that use coal for electricity. The remaining one-third arises from the acquisition of raw materials. They say this research could help designers identify ways to improve designs and even reduce the carbon footprint. That's it. I'm boycotting my running shoes. Guess that means I don't have to run anymore. Okay, Trekkies, get excited. As if the latest installment of Star Trek wasn't enough, Scan and Do is making a real-life tricorder. For those of you who live under a rock and have no idea what that is, it's a device from Star Trek meant to measure vital signs. Scan and Do's non-fiction version called Scout uses an optical sensor held up to your forehead or temple and delivers information about blood pressure, stress levels, respiratory rate, and temperature directly to your smartphone. The company, based out of NASA's Ames Research Center, started an Indiegogo campaign to help make their tricorder commercially available. And it's getting street cred from the company's NASA roots and for borrowing technology from the Curiosity rover. Talk about a trucky thrill. And that's all for your Daily Orbit. We'll see you tomorrow.